Today, Oracle announced Oracle Roving Edge Infrastructure to deliver core infrastructure services to remote locations. The initial release will be available to government customers with general availability to all verticals around the middle of the year. In this article, I will describe the infrastructure and use cases, the consumption model, and finally, explain why I think this is a strategic announcement that deserves your attention. Oracle Roving Edge Infrastructure Oracle Roving Edge Infrastructure consists of ruggedized, portable, scalable server nodes called Roving Edge Devices (REDs). An Oracle RED device contains high-performance hardware, including 40O CPUs, an NVIDIA T4 Tensor Core GPU, 512GB RAM, and 61TB of storage. REDs can deploy into groups of 5 to 15 nodes in a single cluster. Connectivity options are two 100 gigabit ports and two 10 gigabit ports. Oracle Roving Edge Infrastructure is a fully mobile, connection-independent extension of Customer's Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI tenancy with a similar interface and workflow to provide a consistent, unified experience. It enables customers to operate cloud applications and workloads in the field, including machine learning inference, real-time data integration, and replication, augmented analytics, and query-intensive data warehouses. Also, it delivers cloud computing and storage services at the edge of networks for government and enterprise organizations, enabling low-latency processing closer to the point of data generation and ingestion, which provides timely insights into data. The consumption model when you sign up for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI Oracle creates a tenancy for your company, a secure and isolated partition within Oracle Cloud Infrastructure where you can create, organize, and administer your cloud resources. When available, Oracle Roving Edge will appear as an option to be ordered. The system will then walk you through loading virtual machines and data. Once configured, the server is disconnected from your tenancy and shipped to you. If you don't trust the transit system used, you can pick it up at an air-gapped location in the Oracle Data Center to deploy in your environment. A code unlocks the device to activate it in the local environment and then, with network connectivity, is managed through the OCI control plane. It will operate in a connected model, but the real advantage is serving as a disconnected service that syncs back to the cloud. This solution provides the flexibility of location and a high degree of control to run an identical set of Oracle Cloud services entirely disconnected from the Internet and minimize dependencies on the public cloud. The cost is $160 per node per day. This flat per day pricing is in effect while the server is out in production. Once the server comes back and is locked back into the OCI station, billing stops.